Tonight, a local nonprofit is devastated after someone stole its utility trailer with valuable equipment inside. Organizers used it to respond to disasters, but now this theft is presenting a crisis of its own. 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler is in Henrico to tell us more about the impact on their community service. Vessels of Mercy International reported the theft over the weekend. The nonprofit is preparing for a big holiday event coming up soon, and after taking this hit, they have a lot of ground to make up. We tried to always keep it um, here where the light was and things, um, but as you can see, it's gone. This is where Beth Gibson says her nonprofit's trailer was stolen on Friday. The parking lot is located off Gayton Road in Henrico County. It's quite a hit for us. It steps away from the main entrance to her organization, Vessels of Mercy International. Gibson is the CEO and founder of the nonprofit, which has dozens of volunteers who respond to disasters, toothbrush and toothpaste, and give out aid like food, water, and supplies. We just want to reach our city and not just you know go international. We just really are passionate about serving people in our city. Her mission made possible in part by this disaster relief trailer where the nonprofit stored equipment like an air compressor, generator, and seven chainsaws. It's a little disheartening when I pulled into the parking lot Saturday to find that the trailer was missing because we've had that trailer for uh, a little over 15 years and it's sat here with no problem. <laughs> Gibson says the trailer was used often to help people, but now that it's gone, it's going to hinder us from doing that. But the nonprofit's efforts to serve won't be disrupted. They'll figure out another plan. We would like to, you know, replace it. We have our middle high school stockings. They're all ready and boxed, ready to go. As Henrico police investigates the crime, Gibson is remaining hopeful that the trailer and all the equipment inside will be found. Maybe they'll have a change of heart and bring it back. <laughs> You know, we'd love it if they just come and park it right where they found it. Gibson says the nonprofit does have security cameras, but the theft happened just out of the range of the lenses. To protect your property, though, the Henrico Police Division says to lock it up, don't store or leave any valuables in it, and to park in well-lit areas. In Henrico, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.